Hey guys, I'm back with the Cars Junior Novelization in 2006. It's adapted by Lisa Papa Dimitrio. And today, I'm gonna read the next, next two chapters. Chapter 3 and Chapter 4. Three. Hey, kid! Mac called us between headed toward him. Congrats on the tie. I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk about it. The rookie replied grumpily. Come on, let's go, Mac. Saddle up. Come on, Mac. Saddle. Let's go. Saddle up. What you doing with my trailer? I right, park it over here at your sponsor's tent. Mac said, You gotta make your personal appearance. McQueen groaned. His sponsor was Rusty's medicated bump ointment, and the tent was always full of rusty cars. McQueen would have preferred something flashier like Dynaco, but it was Rusty's that had given him his big, his big break. And a contact was a contact. He had to make a personal appearance, and that was that. He forced the smile and drove into a dead. Nothing says a rusty bumper like Rusty's. McQueen re McQueen's recorded images set over a plasma TV screen in the back of Max trailer. Wow. Oh, wow. Look at that shine. Use Rusty's and you too can look like me. Ka-chow. The race car heaved a sigh as he watched his bosses. His two brothers, Rusty and Dusty, who were the owners of Rusty's, tell them their tell their usual joke, tell their usual uh, bad jokes. The Rusty cars who filled the tent and and laughing, and la laughed their bomb, uh, laughed their bumpers off at everything the two brothers uh, said. I remember this car from Swampscott. Rusty said to the crowd. He was so rusty he didn't cast a shadow. The assembled cars hooted and hung as soon as they saw their hero. Ick! I hate rusty cars. McQueen muttered under his breath. This is not good for my image. He slunk behind a cardboard cut out of himself trying to hide. Hey look! Hey, look, there he is. Yes. Yes, Dusty cried, catching sight of McQueen. I almost jammed, the others shouted. Get your ear in, in here, you kid. A spotlight flashed onto McQueen. He made his way through the rusty cars, greeted the, the crowd, and forced himself oh. Off to laugh at his boss's jokes. Finally, it was time for him to go. Oh, we love you, Dusty said to McQueen. So Dusty said as McQueen backed into his trailer. And we're looking forward to another great year, just like this year. McQueen smiled. Then the gate crashed out. Not on your life. Chapter 4 Mac hitched himself to the trailer, and soon he was hauling Lightning McQueen west. His face appeared on a video link inside Lightning's cabin. California, here we come, Mac sang. <clears throat> Dinah call, here we come. <clears throat> McQueen said to himself as he scanned the trophies and plaques that lined the walls and shelf of his trailer. Couldn't wait to land the glamorous new sponsor. Just as McQueen had settled under the buffer for a message, the phone rang. Is this the world? Is this is this Linda McQueen, the world's famous racer, world's fastest racing machine? Asked a smooth voice at the other end end of the line. McQueen perked off at the sound of his agent's voice. Of his agent's voice. Is that you, Harv, buddy? Kid. 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 Harv replied. It is such an honor to be your agent. 
No one would hurt me to take 10% to 10 percent of your winnings merchandising and and acting of and and ancus ancillary rights and preferably anyway what a race a champ I didn't see it but I heard you were great but listen they're giving you 20 tickets for the tiebreaker thing in California I'll pass them on to your friends you should be names right friends McQueen paused who was there there to invite the truth fan was he had tons of fans but a but he couldn't think of any real friends. He was speechless. Okay, I get it, Mr. Bo Popular. Heartbroken. So many friends you can narrow down. Narrow down. But Queen didn't bother correcting him. Okay, I gotta drop Kit. Harv said, let me know how it goes. I'm out. Harv hung out as McQueen's wide eyes wandered to the window. To the window. A minivan weighed down with a mattress tied to its roof struggled past them. Many a long hours later, McQueen, McQueen got more and more, more impatient. Can we go any faster? He wanted. Oh, come on, Mac, he complained over the intercom. You're in the slow way. This is Lightning McQueen you're hauling, hauling here. Mac headed toward a truck stop. Just stopping out for a quick breather, kid, he explained. Old Mac needs a rest. Absolutely not, McQueen insisted. We're driving straight to all night until we get to California. We agreed to it. Mac groaned. All night? May I remind you? Federal deal to Rick, state. Come on, Mac, McQueen's voice softened. I need to get there before chicken hang hey, with Dinico. McQueen really want to move. Mac looked at the truck stuff while lying a semi-sleep peacefully. Hey, kid. I don't know. Mac. Hey. Mac looked at the truck stuff while slept peacefully. Oh, all those sleeping trucks. Hey, kid. Mac said gently. I don't know if I can make it. Oh, sure you can, Mac. The queen said brightly. Look, it'll be easy. I'll stay up with you all night long. Finally, Mac agreed to keep going down the dark interstate. That's for all, folks. I'll be back with a new uh, with a new one with with the next two chapters, five and six. Bye, bye, guys. Thanks for watching, and see and I'll see you next time. And please don't forget to subscribe.